do you really need to buy an expensive 4x4 to go whoop, <laughs> hardcore off-roading? Or can you have as much fun by spending a couple hundred quid on some old bangers you don't care about damaging? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. All right then, let me tell you how this is going to work. So we're going to drive these cars through various challenges. And at the end of the video, you are going to vote on the one you think performed the best off road. I'm actually going to jump from car to car to try them all out. I'm going to start with the Peugeot and the first challenge is the axle twister. So we're going to razz it up that one side and take it down the other side, which has huge holes in it. See what the chassis articulation is like. This should be pretty good up here. It's like a world rally course. And then the 206 won the world rally championship in the early noughties. Whoa, come on, baby. All that fiery 1.4 litre, 75 horsepower engine doing the business. Now this is gonna be the tricky bit. Really tricky. Ah, bottling out. He must have done as well. I'm sure I've got more ground clearance. This thing's light, it's less than a ton, so it will keep on going. <laughs> oh, the poor cells! Whew! It made it! Impressive little car! Love this! Next challenge, you're going up a hill, down another hill, then through some water. I've got this. Come on, Civic. We're gonna need some momentum to get up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get up there, that's it. Whee! Oh, that was easy. Come on, Civic, you're holding me up. Go on, you can go a bit quicker. Go on, go a bit quicker, get down there. Come on, a bit faster. <laughs> oh, crap. I don't want to get stuck. He did well though. Still got the focus with me as well. Come on, get out of the way. There we go, wow. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. This little beauty did the job. I wonder who owned this car before. They're gonna be shocked if they see this video, what I'm doing to the poor thing. In fact, you can get an idea of who owned a car by looking at what's been left in it. This has got a no. Nah, I'm not gonna do that, it's disgusting, a hairbrush. What's this? Some weird, homemade rattle that's got the Polish flag on it. It's in the glove box. Ugh, it's a manky coat. <laughs> Ugh, that's enough of that. I've now jumped into the Honda Civic for the next challenge, which is all about showing off. So we're gonna bomb down here through the water, see which car can make the biggest splash. And then we're gonna go around there and handbrake turn into a cone because reasons. <laughs> Fly though, this 1.4 engine is peppy. Oh, 75 horsepower, same as that Peugeot. And I think the exhaust must come off that Peugeot soon. This car's also got 111 newton meters of torque and it weighs just over a ton, so it's pretty good off road. Here's a cone. Ah! <laughs> this car's clearly also got a very good handbrake.
pleased with that. This next challenge is the breakover test. So we're going to go over that ridge, around the back of that hill, then over the hill and down again. Let's do it. Come on under. Oh God. Come on, be brave. Do you need help? Come on, give you some help. There we go. <laughs> He needed a bit of help. Oh, I need help. Come on, focus. Can I have some help. Yeah, come on. Yep, yeah, come on. There we go. Oh, and off we go. Come on, up here. Wait. Going, keep pressing. Come on. Come on. Come on, don't be frightened. We've got to keep momentum going. Go on, go, 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 go. There we go. Oh! for that on insurance. I guess you reap what you sow, don't you? Let's find out a bit about the owner. I'm going to check in the glove box. There is just one thing in here. A wooden birdhouse. I'll keep that. It's been unopened. Other than that, nothing. Pristine. I think the person that owned this might have had OCD. I've now jumped into the Ford Focus for the next challenge, which is going to be caning the cars up this steep hill, then going around an obstacle course and round a tree, then back on ourselves. Now, that part of the course will test these cars' manoeuvrability and agility. This first part, though, will test their performance because we're going to need lots of momentum to get up there. And good job, this Ford is the most powerful. It's got a 1.6 litre engine with 115 horsepower and 155 newton metres of torque. This is the heaviest though. This one might be a bit lighter because it's got the um, rear window delete. Yeah, look. Yeah, it's awesome. Anyway, let's do this. <laughs> Peugeot sounds like a rally car. Come on. I think I might find a mouse here. Oh! Oh! This is the manoeuvrability bit. <laughs> Power, come on, get over. Oh, sh horrible over it. Oh, oh I've got to keep going. Oh, Peugeot's doing well. Where's the Civic? Oh, here he is. I think he needs a push. There you go. Go on, off you go. There we go, I'm gonna to have to back up for this. Follow him around, make sure he doesn't get stuck again. Oh no, no, I've gone and beached myself. Bugger. Let's move on to the next challenge.
Now, before we get on with the final challenge, I just want to see if I can learn a bit about this car's previous owner by seeing what they've got dotted about the place. So, a pirate CD. Oh, fruit shoot. Probably got kids. Oh, uh, oh my, what is, what is, oh, that's been in someone's mouth. Here, we've got some pink sweet pea air freshener, which doesn't smell great, but then neither does the car. Let's check out the glove box. Oh, Diet Coke. They care about their health. Uh, cheese strings, maybe they don't care about their health. And what the heck? Oh, no, they definitely don't care about their health. They've got loads of cigarette packets. Empty. Smoked them all. Right, I don't think I'm going to be the healthiest person in the world either after this final challenge because it's going down a horrible steep hill, which is really, really scary. In fact, there's a very real possibility I may die. <laughs> Thankfully the Peugeot has got to go first so I can see how he does. <laughs> Who needs a proper off-roader? It's doing a great job. He's a bit stuck. I'll give him a bit of help. got stuck. Here we go, can I help him out? Looks like I'm going to have to help the Peugeot again. Oh no, totally stuck. Can I off-road my way out of here? Come on. Come on. The Peugeot's free. Pojo made it. We just need a push from somebody behind us, I think. Come on. Yes, we've got motion. Come on, keep going, yes. We're free! We're free! We're free! Oh crap, we're gonna hit it! Oh! We made it! Well, I made it! And I didn't die! Yay, focus! And here comes the Civic now! Who says you need a proper 4x4 to go off roading? All you need is some cheap old hatchbacks such as this. In fact, do you want to see how much this Ford Focus is worth? We'll actually use the CarWow app earlier because it's got a car valuation tool and all you have to do is scan the car's number plate and it came back with the value on this car in poor condition, which it was, for £139. Now, if you click on the pop-out banner up there, you can download the CarWow app. It's completely free and use that tool yourself. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video as much whoa, as I did whoa, filming whoa, it. Whoa, 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 Hold your horses. Don't click out of the video just yet. It's not quite over. You see, I've forgotten the most important part the bit where you get to decide which of the three hatchbacks was the best at off-roading. So was it the Ford? The Honda?
Honda. Or the Peugeot. Click on the pop-out banner up there to cast your vote. Go and do it. What you choose. What's what? Unfortunately, I can't tell because this is pre-recorded, obviously. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments box below. Also, maybe suggest some other videos you'd like to see us do. I will be checking the comments later, and maybe we'll do your suggestion in the future.